Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be reading Mild Hell, another level from the back rooms. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. This level doesn't deserve an entry. Oh, I guess that's the end of the video if I don't do this. Haha. <laughs> Survival Difficulty, Class 5E, Environmental. Devoid of calm feelings, infuriating, very stressful for humans and entities. I refuse to give this level a proper name. It's the worst level of the backrooms. It was unfortunately discovered on, uh, I'm guessing, August 4th, 2021, by an, by an anonymous individual who probably regrets doing so. This level cannot get anything right for the life of it. I mean, heck, even pictures of this level refuse to load properly. Look at that. Look at this. No image available. What a nonsense. Description. Level dumpster fire is a huge mistake in every way possible. It goes on for way too long, and whenever you think this level actually something right, it ends up disappointing you. Appearance-wise, level annoyance personified looks like a typical university campus that covers a 7 in a kilometer squared area. The level itself is devoid of animal life and has a completely normal day-night cycle similar to that of the front rooms. By all accounts, it should be completely ha edible, but it simply isn't. This level has a multitude of anomalous properties that make it impossible to live in for more than a few days. For instance, the likelihood of stubbing your toe increases tenfold when you enter this level. Whereas chance, the chances of finding a rock in your shoe increase is twofold. It's not recommended to walk around barefoot, as the likelihood of a Lego break spontaneously appearing right under where you place your foot is too great to be chanced. Upon exiting any building, there is a small chance that your socks will suddenly become wet as if you stepped in a puddle. No puddles will be present, however, and for an unknown reason, the outside of your shoe will remain dry. Elevators always take too long to arrive on your floor, to the point where taking the stairs is actually faster. Additionally, there is a small chance of pressing any buttons in the elevator will result in all buttons being pushed. Speaking of which, stairs always seem to have one less step than what you think, even if you look down at your feet. Unintentionally tripping at this level is not possible, but near tripping occurs on a near constant basis. Wi Fi is present throughout the entire level and this signal seems strong, however, lag is consistently present, which leads to longer loading times. Additionally, ad block is seemingly non existent. I actually have ad block. Oops. The chances your computer crap. The chance of your computer crashing increases exponentially based on the importance and the amount of time you spent working on it since you last saved it. Any headphones found in this level will only ever have one working side. However, tests indicate that holding the headphones wire at a certain angle or turning the jack sometimes have results in both sides working. Though this is a rare occurrence. Beds found in dorms seldom result in a good night's sleep. No matter what number or combination of pillows you try, it will always seem like they're, they are stacked either too high or too low. Meanwhile, blankets are oddly weighted in such a weight where they will always fall to one side of the bed and leave a good portion of your body exposed. Waking up after any duration of sleep usually results in one of your nostrils being clogged or so, for some inexplicable reason. This effect usually takes a few hours to clear up. <sighs> Any food ordered at the at a cafeteria will either result in a notable component missing from the meal, or a completely wrong order that is composed of your least favorite foods. Thankfully, dietary restrictions are seemingly known on this level, so if you have left life threatening allergy, you need not worry about it. Unfortunately, if you have a non life threatening allergy, i.e., pollen allergy or milk allergy, you'll be subjected to the effects of such an allergy. When exposed to the allergen. Uh, additionally, the allergy symptoms will take 
will last twice as long. Damn. Any food containing bones, particularly fish, will always result in the first bite you have you take having a bone fragment in it, no matter how careful you are in terms of removing bones. Even though the cafeterias found on this level are able to produce cooked meals without the presence of any staff, there will always be at least one hair found in your food. The length and type of hair tends to vary with each meal. Attempting to shear a spherical object into a basket of any sort, i.e. a basketball into a basketball net, or one of his paper into a waistband, will result in an enemies 99% of the time. That makes actually hitting it really exciting. Showers on this level never produce any hot water, just lukewarm water, which decreases in temperature the longer you shower. Additionally, shower curtains seem to be extra clean, and soap bars are more likely to slip out of your hands. If you try to wash your hands in the washroom, you will find you, you will find that nearby I, that nearly all the dispensers are out of soap. Usually, there will only be one dispenser that barely has enough soap for a good wash. No matter how careful you are with washing and drying your hands. You will always exit the washroom with soggy sleeves despite your sleep length. Vending machines do not require any money, however there is a 90% chance that your selected drink or snack will get stuck. Time to select another item to free the first item will result in both items getting stuck 60% of the time. Any bags of chips found on this level will contain a higher air to chip ratio. Likewise, sodas tend to become less carbonated faster. If not already lacking in carbonation. On this level is devoid of animal life, the sound of insects buzzing can be heard in outdoor areas and next to your ears during nights whenever you try to sleep. Some waterers have reported killing these non existent insects land on their skin. Handling paper of any sort, i.e., sheets of paper, books, or posters, Almost always results in a in at least one paper cut. Symmetry in this level is not possible. Therefore, floor tiles, wallpaper, and artistically arranged objects will be will always be slightly off center. If you try to center asymmetrical objects, are there is a 100% chance that you will make it worse. All doors in this level creak when open or closed, and windows can and never be fully closed or are permanently stuck. Pencils will always break when you, and you attempt to use them on your first try, and sharpening them takes approximately half the pencil's length to accomplish. Likewise, most pens you find are empty, and those that do have ink run out of it after 50 seconds of use. At least one of your fingers will ha always have a hangnail at any point in time. If you encounter a pillow at any point, both sides will always be warm. No matter how you position your body, you will always be slightly too uncomfortable to sleep. Entities. There are no entities in this level, because even they can't stand it much more than wanderers can. Bases, communities, and outposts. Any base, community, or outpost that uh, uh, was here has already skipped onto another level. You probably should too. Idris says, you can't be serious. After all of that, you still want to go to this level? 
Trust me, you don't want to do that. However, if you're looking to avoid this level, do not, and I repeat, do not try to freeze stack pending in stack by addressing the machine at either level 4 or level 6.1. Find and touch a high school diploma on level 117. Fall asleep on the bus found in level 147. Sit in front of a facing and lean your seat back way too far on level 36.1. Mock the artwork in level 57 by calling it garbage or trash. Stick gum under or need the tables in Tom's Diner on level 1. <sighs> Exits. The only saving grace this level has is having an accessible and dependable exit. To exit, you must give in to your frustrations about level or irritation station and start venting about any convenient inconvenience this level forces you to face. Once you've reached peak irritation during your rant, you will immediately be transferred back to the level you entered this one from. Wanderers who have exited this level report feeling instantly relieved once they realize they're they are no longer in this infuriating level. Is this a sea author thing? Oh, yeah, it's a sea author. <laughs> okay. That was a mild hell. And it was a bit of a mild hell to read. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!